Kasi pa rin po tayong uh, mga katanungan kung kailan na daw po ba talaga ang balik eskwela ng mga estudyante. Our opening date ay August 24. Amid the global pandemic brought about by COVID-19, almost all economic, religious, and social activities around the world are slowing down, if not going to a full stop. Consequently, a huge number of business establishments have been closed, sending multitudes of people jobless. Access to food and other basic commodities is difficult and homes have become prison walls as travel restrictions and curfews are strictly imposed. Worst, smiles are denied by face masks. Closeness and togetherness separated by physical distancing. And jovial moods now clouded with worries and fears. However, the commitment on the part of Maniki Central Elementary School's Pet Center and the entire DepEd in general to continuously provide basic education to learners remains steadfast. We would not allow COVID-19 to push education sector to a dead end, but instead, we take it as a challenge to be creative and innovative in implementing alternative delivery modes appropriate to the actual condition of the learners. As we prepare the Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan, allow us to first introduce the profile of our school. The Maniki Central Elementary School SPED Center with School ID 128662 is a municipal public elementary school serving communities mainly in Kapalong, Davao del Norte. It has attracted families with varied cultural backgrounds and has grown increasingly diverse over the past decade. Family incomes vary widely but most of our learners hail from households of modest means. Presenting to you the full blast teaching force of Maniki Central Elementary School's Ped Center according to grade level. Flash on screen is a graph of the learners enrolled in the school year 2019-2020. Due to the emerging threat of COVID-19, the current state of the Philippines has urged the President to sign into law Republic Act 11469 or the Bayanihan to Heal as One Act. The Department of Education is leaving no stone unturned in responding to the current public health emergency as Secretary Leonor Magtolis Briones said that recent DepEd policies and actions are done to ensure that the welfare of its learners and staff are prioritized. DepEd is also looking to provide additional provident funds to field offices to be readily available. These funds will assist them with urgent, critical, and immediate responses related to COVID-19 threats and in support for affected personnel. Department of Education offers considerations for ways in which schools can help protect individuals in the community slow the spread of COVID-19. Schools Division offices reported continuous health monitoring of learners and personnel. Disinfection of schools and coordination with local government unit, especially on school facilities used as isolation rooms. Designed to motivate and challenge all learners, Maniki Central Elementary School's Ped Center's academic program is driven by equity and the possible learning expectations for learners amid this COVID pandemic. In response to the coronavirus disease 2019 pandemic, some private schools in the country had implemented national school closures by mid-June. As we can see in the comparative data, transferees from private schools are getting high while some parents decided to not send their children at this time. 
In line with the DepEd Central Offices LCP, Maniki Central Elementary Schools Ped Center has launched its programs, projects, and activities. Planning for learners' success in the wake of COVID-19 starts by recognizing that some learners are particularly vulnerable when schools close. Anytime, anywhere, learning is a needed innovation to K-12 learning that is magnified by the current pandemic. Schools can be certain in a rapidly changing and increasingly interconnected global economy that they will again in the future need to transition from face-to-face -to, -face to different forms of learning experiences. Now is the time for both rapid response to the COVID-19 pandemic and long-term planning to ensure smoother transitions and to enable innovative, student-centered learning pathways. Firstly, information disseminated via social media, tarpaulins, and with the coordination of the barangay. One of the biggest challenges we are facing is how to keep children on board. Chairing webinars frame the entirely new context in a positive light may become an opportunity for teachers and learners to become more empowered, creative, and innovative. Secondly, the learning delivery modalities of Maniki Central Elementary Schools Ped Center can adopt both modular and online. We call it as Bibus Hub, wherein each learner will provide the Bibus Learning Kit. And these are the steps for the modular distance learning. Printing of Modules Disinfecting of Kit Delivery to every purok with the help of barangay vehicle. Claiming of kits in every purok or in the Bibus hub with Bibus jingle as the signal. They can hear the Bibus rhyme time, which is the official jingle for a class to start. Home tutoring with parents and others. Advisors monitoring through SMS, messenger, or home visitation. And lastly, returning of modules every Friday. The second one is the online mode and we call it as MSIS Cares Academic Link. In this scheme, there is assigned teachers who will create a room and have a virtual class. There will be orientations and capacity building for parents and guardians to prepare them for the new role or responsibilities that they will do. 
DepEd needs the support and partnership of the LGUs to maximize and align their special education fund in providing resources and assistance for the LCP. Thus, we seek the understanding, support, and solidarity of our DepEd family and all our stakeholders in true spirit of unity and bayanihan or mutual help. We do not applaud this pandemic for making us innovative and creative. We still wish this COVID-19 onslaught would have not have happened at all. But indeed, necessity is the mother of invention. We take pride that this crisis has not turned us into lame ducks, but has brought out the best in us in finding solutions instead of finding faults. DepEd as an institution has not just invented alternative modes to educate our learners, but has also reinvented the countless ways of showing how we truly care for the young ones as future leaders of our country. Kung tayo ay magbabayanihan! Yes,